Hello, dowsers and dowsing enthusiasts. We are gathering today to talk about Bovis scale. Bovis scale is not extremely popular on North American continent, but in Europe, every dowser who considers himself really practicing dowsing is aware and use Bovis scale. Let me give you some historical background about it and then we will talk how to use it. So, Bovis scale is a scale from 0 to 10,000 of units. And in a moment we will mention about the units. So, Bovis was, well, here there are differences in opinion. At the time when Bovis was working on his scale um, and researching human energy field, uh, he wasn't um, he wasn't aware that so many generations after will use the scale and really value his work. So there is not too many uh, too much of documentation about himself. So something some claim that he was a physician. Some say that he was a physicist. Some that he was just an ordinary person who was interested in energy field. Whoever he was, he measured about 10,000 people and developed some very important information about what influences human energy field and what really numbers it, um, sorry, on, on, on his scale, at what number specific condition will appear. So, the Bovis, as I said, Antoine Bovis made those first, first scale, and it was called the Bovis scale. Then after him, there was an engineer, Simon Anton, who developed another three scale. And as you can see, it's etheric, astral, mental, and causal body. So Bovis developed first, next four, sorry, not, not the next three was developed by engineer Simon Eton. And then there was this visionary and psychic um, Merge Blanche who developed another two scale about spiritual level and pure spiritual level. So now it is called BSM scale, scale Bobby Simon Eton and Merge. Now, on the Bovis scale, which is most, most detailed, we can, we can measure the physical strength, energetic physical strength of human body. Then with, um, with etheric, astral and mental, mental and causal, we go into subtle bodies. Then Merge Blanche brought a spiritual level, which still counts for human body and pure spiritual level, which is the only level which does not apply to human body or human energy field. It is because it is a pure spiritual, which we are not until we are here, then on this scale you can measure the strength of your um, guides, your guardian angel if you wish, your friends on the other side, and so on and so on. So everyone who already passed to other, other dimensions and you want to check how he influences with what strength of energy uh, this being can influence your energy field. That's why the last scale goes to infinity. So at the end of this scale, you will see the infinity number. All other scale are continuation on the previous one. So the body scale goes from zero to 10,000, but uh, astral goes from 10,000 to uh, 18,000. And then mental goes from 18 to 28 and causal and so on and so on. So they continue because energy fields or energy subtle bodies go from the center of our being and um, passes through our physical body and extend, creates like a shell around our body, which also protects us from very many unwanted 
influences of the energies from other surrounding or other dimensions. So as you can see, as those bodies uh, continue growing, um, our also our strength of those fields can improve. I have a friend in Nova Scotia who learned that and Katy always measures her friends and clients before and after and shows people with what strength of energy on different levels they came to her with and what is strength of their field after treatment with her or after actually Tai Chi exercises or whatever they do together. So what we can do here is we can measure our own or as I said our clients energy field actually with the scale come also uh, one page uh, with information about different numbers what they mean on those scales and so on but let's put it for now on aside what Antoine Bovis found is that average strength of healthy human body is six and a half of thousands of units. We call them Bovis units, but they are based actually on angstroms. Well, we go into then nanotechnology, I guess. So when you want to check your own body, then of course, first, the jewelry goes out of your hand. You put your finger on those black spots, so those black uh, rectangular shapes are here um, to put a witness on it okay so for now on we will check the human body so I can put my finger here on this witness stand in a sense find my wavelength or first find my find, find my wavelength then put my finger here and go along the line now, pendulum can move this way, which means go, 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 go. And let me measure so I can... And you move it very slowly until it will start to oscillate. And when it oscillates, you can read the number. So in my case, it's 9,000. But pendulum not can... Well, there is a few options. So pendulum can go straight until it will start to oscillate by making it now. It can circulate and then start to cut, or it can stand still and start to cut. Be very careful and go slowly because when pendulum cuts the energy, it needs a moment to change the movement from or no movement to the oscillatory movement. So go slowly. Now, be careful not to put your hand over another scales because it will prevent you from having a proper reading because it will then read all the numbers from other scales. So your finger goes here or you can put your scale this way and then put your finger here if it's easier for you. You can also on this scale so you go from scale to scale to scale, and then you will make your reading, let's say it was, I don't remember, probably now 9,000, then you go to etheric and you continue, and then my etheric, I don't want to say anything because I will stop it then. It's like, um, let's say 1275, 12,000, 750 bovis units and then you go to etheric and so on and so on they will grow in numbers and they will grow when you recover and they will unfortunately lower be lower when you will when one not you will be weaker and going into even simple flu uh, for example, people who sleep over the crossing of, of black streams, which means underground rivers or water, will have a reading about 1,000 only, because the negative green, which 
which um, radiate from those streams will lower the strength of their energy, will decrease their strength of their aura, let's say, as you wish to call them this way. But what you can do also is this. So when I measured my strength on the physical level, and it's 9,000, and I want to check if those supplements, which I purposely not showing, will do me good or bad. Are they compatible with me or not? I can put it on the same scale and then measure its energy field. So, first of all, I will find its wavelength. I have it. And then I will go, my hand goes down, and then I will go and measure the strength of this supplement. And it's 9400. So it's bigger than mine. So when I will take this, it should increase my energy level on my physical scale. But if I'm not sure what I can do is I can put my finger on the top of this and then run it again and it will show me what influence or what strength we both represent. And actually it comes between 44 and 45 uh, hundreds of both these units. You see, so this way you can check the strength of the product, you can check, 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 uh, check your own strength, and you can check the strength of you combined with this product. If you are afraid that uh, the reading is not proper because you use a bottle of them, not one pill, then of course you can put just one pill on it and and again, find a wavelength again, okay, and then uh, check the strength of this, but it's still 94, and then I can touch the individual peel and go further, and it's exactly the same between 94 and 95. As you can see, it really does not matter much. Oops, one fell down. Uh, it doesn't really ma matter much if you will use the bottle with your pills, with your supplements, or you will just use my one pill. It's important when you go to uh, the pharmacy, and of course you cannot take one pill, you have to take a whole bottle, and check how it, how it will influence your energy. Thank you very much. That's all for today. And uh, more in-depth information about uh, body scale, you will be able to find on our courses, online courses. And you can find them on our website, www.intuitivedowsing.com. If you like this, this uh, clip, please like us on the bottom of, the, of this video. You can also subscribe to our channel so we will stay in touch on the longer run with more and more short clips bringing closer different aspects of dowsing, helping you to douse properly with scientific knowledge about it so you can talk to everyone about dowsing and include them in your life. Thank you very much. All the best. Have a wonderful life. And until next time, I'm checking out. It was Alicia Ratten. Thank you.